All right, everyone. So at a recent event, Jalen Rose asked Anthony Edwards while they were on like some panel with Anthony Edwards and Kevin Durant, what it was like to beat Kevin Durant in the playoffs. This is what he had to say. Cool guy, you know, <laughs> talk some trash. Except definitely can't wait to play KD to talk some trash. So. And uh, so I have to go here then since I love this bromance so much. And I'll start with you because y'all happened to win last time. What was it like playing against KD in the playoffs? And winning. <laughs> Sorry, I love you, dog. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This is favorite question. Yeah, it's my favorite question. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I felt bad a little bit. <laughs> Only because he's my favorite player of all time. I didn't I didn't want to send him home like that. But <laughs> Oh, send him home like that. It just, it, you know what I mean? It, it happened, man. I, I felt bad. I felt bad. So what is it like for you as a... Now, I have to say that, you know, listen, I, Kevin Durant's on the Suns right now. I understand all of that. He's going to be there. But does anyone else want to see a team up between these two? You know, it's so clear that Anthony Edwards has so much respect for Durant. It's pretty clear that Anthony Edwards, you know, views Durant, and a lot of these young guys do, views Durant as, like, just one of the best ever, right? It's very clear that they feel that way. And, and I think one of the th problems with Kevin Durant is that, you know, he – his career has had a very weird kind of arc because he was so good so early. He maintained how good he was, goes to the Warriors, wins some championships. And then after that, he goes to the Nets and he goes to the Suns. And since then, he's kind of been taken out of those conversations. And it's not really fair because he's still just as good as he's ever been. It's just he's been in some really, I don't want to say bad spots, but just he's had some unfortunate things. That, you know, whether it's injuries to teams, injuries to players, you had the Kyrie Vax thing, right? Which the unfortunate part in that was that, you know, he couldn't play for portions of that season. And it ended up becoming somewhat of a distraction. So, the, so that we've seen that now, right? So that's the only reason Kevin Durant isn't talked about the same way I think, you know, he once was. And I think this Olympics reopened people's eyes to, holy crap, Kevin Durant's still really good, right? Like he's still... If you were picking players for one game, Durant, you know, he's going quick, okay? This idea that Durant isn't going, he's going quick. He can score the ball, and he scores it efficiently. And I would just love to see a Kevin Durant, Anthony Edwards, um, you know, um, you know, team up at some point because I don't see how he stays with the Suns for a long term. I don't see how he ends his career with the Suns because he definitely wants to get back into those conversations and compete. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.